Hello students, I am Alex. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the national health program that is called RNTCP. It means Revised National Tuberculosis Control Program. First of all, we will see the history of this program. For in the year 1962, the program started as a NTCP, means National Tuberculosis Control Program. Later on, it is revised as a RNTCP, Revised National Tuberculosis in the year 1992. Uh, the RNTCP first phase is 1997 started. Okay, what is the new initiative in this RNTCP means they introduced a DOTS therapy. Okay, DOTS therapy. What is DOTS? Direct Observation Treatment Supervision. So in this, uh, they will give that treatment or tablets to the directly to the patients and we will observe okay under the supervision of a one registered practitioner or a, any uh, doctor or a nurse so under the supervision of these people only patients will take the medication that is the new initiative in the RNTCP and present we have another strategic plan for TB elimination it is a recent trend in the RNTCP program what is the recent trend means strategic plan for TB elimination it was started in the 2007 under the Prime Minister of uh, Narendra Modi so he wants to eliminate the TB from India by the year of 2025 by the year of 2025 we have to eliminate or eradicate the tuberculosis from the India for that uh, we have Indian government has started a uh, means in, uh, one program that is called strategic plan for TB elimination for that in the officially in the year 2020 so they renamed again RNTCP to national TB elimination program in the year 2020 they renamed this program RNTCP to national TB elimination program so what are the new initiative in this program what are the new things in this program means and what are the strategies are there means so we will see these are the some of the strategies for this national TB elimination program what first one is active case findings active case findings how to find the active cases okay to reach the unreached places like slums uh, tribal areas hilly areas okay and how to find okay by the active detection or uh, how you detect by the active uh, diagnosis so for that they uh, implemented new diagnostic techniques like x-ray and cbnet okay what is cbnet cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test so implemented a X chest x-ray for the diagnosing the new cases and the implemented cbnet test previously we used to rely the TB detection only on the sputum cultures, okay, sputum culture or gram stains, okay, or AFB, 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 acid fast bacilli, okay, we used to rely on the AFB, sputum AFB, okay, so recently we are uh, diagnosing the cases with the, the chest x-rays and the CBNAT testings, okay, another thing, we need to focus on the TB comorbidities focus on the TB comorbidities comorbidities like mainly focusing on the HIV and DM okay diabetes mellitus and what is another strategy private sector engagement okay now we are involving the private sectors also to find out the cases okay if any patient is going and taking the treatment in the private sector okay the private sector people has to notify the cases to the government okay so that is called notifying cases if any patient is taking a treatment or a, uh, buying a, uh, a tablets from the uh, private uh, pharmacies they have to notify to the government through a separate portal that is called Nexai portal okay that is called notifying for that person for that reason we are engaging the private sector also so another strategy drug resistant tb we are focusing on the drug resistance tb mdr tb multi drug resistant tb okay 
for the for that reason we have uh, indian government has started two new drugs for the treating the drug resistance tb that is called vidaquiline and dilamanid okay these are the two new drugs two new initiatives in this national tb elimination program to treat the drug resistance tb cases those drugs are vidaquiline and dilamanid and we are giving a treatment in a uh, in in a fixed doses fdc is implemented fdc means fixed drug dose calculations okay in the, in place of darts okay fixed dose fixed drug dose calculations we are giving okay so we have a uh, separate uh, fixed doses like for adults 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 four types of bands okay four type of bands and for children you have a six types of bands okay it means based on suppose for 50 to 60 kilos one type of fixed drug dose calculation tablets will be there that is one band 60 kilos to 70 kilos like that for adults four types of bands children six types of bands of drug uh, drugs are available in the treatment of tb okay and another strategy ict tools for adherence and monitoring ict tools information ict stands for information communication technology okay information communication technology tools for adherence and monitoring so as like dots previously in the rntcp we are using the ict tools not instead of people we are using the technology communication technology like so we can send a message to the uh, patient directly through the ivr or we can uh, use the ivr technology also okay by a phone call remembrance we will give you a notifications okay notifications for the patients what we will give notify what we will give the notification uh, means as like dots uh, person will be there for supervising for taking the treatment here we are sending a message or giving a call phone call to the particular patient for taking the treatment promptly okay that is called ict tools adherence and monitoring thing okay we are using communication technology for remembering the patient for about the treatment okay that is ict and we need to focus on the preventive measures preventive measures like we have to control the means airborne we have to take the airborne precautions okay and we have to find out the contact tracing okay and focus on the crowded areas okay all these preventive measures we have to take and community engagement that is this is most important uh, strategy community we need to engage the community all the people we need to give the uh, iec technique techniques means uh, information education communication health education we have to give we need to encourage the people to participate in this program actively to know the you know, signs and symptoms of the particular disease and voluntarily themselves to come and take the treatment okay if the patient is having or if any person is having a persistent cough for continuous two weeks or a uh, or if, if any, any other symptoms like uh, chills okay fever okay diaphoresis all these things are weight loss so then the patient should have a minimum knowledge about this uh, signs and symptoms of the tb then they should come to the particular phc or sub center they can give the samples okay how many samples we have to give remember two 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 okay two means if the patient is having continuous cough for two weeks more than two weeks okay cough for more than two weeks then he has to come he has uh, phc and our sub center uh, he has to give the two samples okay two samples of sputum when first sample on the first day of visit second sample and the next day early morning sample he has to give this is called community engagement and next multi-sectorial response we need to communicate with the all the other ministerial things also okay with the help of all other 
means Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, okay, Ministry of means ICTs, all these things. We need to uh, we need to have a good communication with all the other departments also. In this thing, now recently we are engaged or merged with the NEIC National AIDS Control Program also dealing with the National AIDS Control Program also we are running. So what is another um, uh, recent things means in this program incentives revised. So under the National TB Elimination Program we are giving the incentives for the patients and the healthcare workers and even private workers also. Okay. Uh, so we are giving the incentives for the patient who is taking for them monthly basis 500 rupees per monthly we are giving. Uh, why we are giving this means to assist the nutritional support under the program called Nekshai Potion Yojana. Potion. Nekshai Potion Yojana. Nekshai Potion Yojana under this program we are giving a 500 rupees financial assistance to the patient. Okay. And we are giving financial assistance or incentives to the uh, healthcare workers also who is notifying for him also we are giving and who is monitoring for him also and private workers also uh, we are encouraging uh, to notify for them also we are giving incentives there are different incentives are there okay and this Nikshai portion Yojan is important this is a nutritional support program for the TP patients who are giving a financial assistance of 500 rupees per month and what is this Nikshai under the ICT you will see Nikshai Nikshai is a computer based software application this is a software okay for uh, identifying or notifying or um, maintaining the data related to the TB patients Indian government has started a separate software application that is called Nikshai okay this, uh, this is about an RNTCP or you can say a National Tuberculosis Control Program and recent name is National TB Elimination Program. The main aim of this program is to eliminate or eradicate the tuberculosis from India by the year 2025. For eliminating this uh, TB from India by 2025, these are the strategies to be implemented. These strategies are started in the 2017 okay that's all about the national tuberculosis control program thank you friends